The U.S. Navy is christened the 70th Arleigh Burke class destroyer. The christening of the future USS Carl M. Levin DDG 120 took place on the 2nd of October 2021 at the General Dynamics Bath Ironworks Shipyard in Bath, Maine. Senator Levin's daughters, ship sponsors Kate Levin Markle, Laura Levin, and Eric Levin performed the bottle break with the Secretary of the Navy, Carlos del Toro, looking on. The ship's motto is tenacious in the fight. The ship's namesake, Senator Carl Levin, served in the U.S. Senate for 36 years, from 1979 to 2015. A member of the Democratic Party, he was the chair of the Senate Armed Services Committee from 2001 to 2003 and again from 2007 to 2015. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why USS Carl M. Levin DDG-120 will be an impressive addition to the U.S. Navy. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air, and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder's been kind enough to offer all Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship, and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. USS Carl M. Levin is the fifth of the nine Arleigh Burke class Flight 2A technology insertion variant for the U.S. Navy. Bath Ironworks laid the keel of DDG-120 on the 2nd of February 2019 and launched the ship on the 16th of May 2021. Technology insertion ships are fitted with elements from the future DDG-51 Flight 3. DDG-120 will come with the Aegis Baseline 9 combat system, which includes integrated air and missile defense capability. This system is designed to deliver quick reaction time, high firepower, and increased electronic countermeasures capability for anti-air warfare. The delivery to the U.S. Navy is expected in fiscal year 2021. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyer is the United States Navy's first class of destroyer to be built from the ground up to incorporate the Aegis combat system. The Aegis ballistic missile defense system is designed by the United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency to protect against short and intermediate range ballistic missiles. Aegis ballistic missile defense is devised to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re-entry. It will enable USS Carl M. Levin to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles. The Flight 3 upgrade is centered on Raytheon Technologies and SPY-6 V-1 radar. This is a major upgrade compared to and SPY-1. The four fixed arrays of SPY direct electromagnetic beams in all directions concurrently and continuously, so the targets are tracked without interruption. The radar can be made to focus onto a single target when needed without blinding the warship against other threats. The new radar is designed to help ships track missile and aircraft threats at farther ranges while maintaining resilience to noise and other forms of interference. It's estimated to have a 15 dBi improvement compared to the previous generation and SPY-1 radar, or capable of detecting targets half the size at twice the distance, so roughly it's four times more powerful. This enables the radar to create a very holistic view of the surrounding, providing an unprecedented situational awareness. USS Carl M. Levin will be one of the most heavily armed destroyers in the world. 
It will have in total 96 Mark 41 vertical launch system VLS, divided into two blocks of 32 and 64 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons depending on mission requirements. 1. RIM 66M5 Standard SM2MR Block 3B for air defense and anti-ship roll with a range of 103 miles or 106 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 2. RIM 156A SM2ER Block 4 for anti-aircraft and anti-ship roll with a range of 115 miles or 185 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 3. RIM-161 SM-3 for ballistic missile defense with a range of 435 miles or 700 kilometers and a speed of Mach 10. It can also be used as an anti-satellite weapon. 4. RIM-162A ESSM for anti-missile roll with a range of 31 miles or 50 kilometers and speed of Mach 4. It can be quad-packed in a single Mark 41 cell. 5. RIM-174A Standard ERAM or SM-6 for anti-air warfare with a range of 150 miles or 240 kilometers and a speed of Mach 3.5. 6. BGM-109 Tomahawk for land attack. It has a range of up to 1,550 miles or 2,500 kilometers with subsonic speed. 7. RUM 139A VL ASROC anti submarine missile with a range of 13 miles or 22 kilometers. It also has two Mark 141 Harpoon missile launcher for the anti ship roll. Two Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes are present. Launching Mark 46 or Mark 50 torpedoes. Two MH 60R Seahawk Lamps 3 helicopters are also present for anti submarine warfare. Other than these, it's equipped with a long range naval gun and multiple close in weapon systems. Early Burke class warships have seen many incremental upgrades and have been able to accommodate several key additions. The U.S. currently has around 69 Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, and the number will swell as there is a plan to have around 90 of these. The important aspect is the Arleigh Burke-class is versatile, and since they are present in a decent number, they provide a lot of flexibility to the U.S. Navy. This has great strategic significance as the U.S. is now facing a very assertive China and an invigorated Russia. USS Carl M. Levin will certainly add to the American military's endeavor to maintain an edge against its rival, especially with the upgraded radar system. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.